Dominic Fike and three nights. It is 812 here on the morning den. Well, the phone rang and guess who's on the other end of this phone? It's Annie Harduck. How are you? Hi, Jen. Uh, are you doing well in this pandemic? Uh, I, I say I am. I, I know it's an unfortunate situation for um, lots of business owners, but um, to me, it's um, I, I, I did find the possible to find an opportunity throughout this period. Right. You, you are one who are pivoting. Uh, many people are pivoting and changing things around just a little bit. Listen, I want to get a background uh, for those who don't know about your Uxbridge networking group because happy anniversary, 20 years now. Um, well, when well, did you well, move well, to Uxbridge? I have to that. 20 well, years was two years ago. Was it? Okay. So happy 22nd then. I missed. 22nd, yeah. Why, why didn't someone invite me 20, you know, two years ago? I missed the invitation. <laughs> so, uh, well, the uh, actually, I want to say two years ago, one hundred five point five become our media sponsor. That's right. It well, just happened. It just happened just before our anniversary picnic. That's right. That's right. Yes. I do. I do remember now. Uh, well, see, Jen Cully, kind of. Yes. Uh, yeah, she does all our, our that hard work, and uh, and I got to pay attention more. Yeah, listen, yes. I and, didn't and know I, it was Friday today, so. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, she did brought the food, but then she had to uh, do another uh, show, I guess, um, on that day. So she wasn't at the picnic picture, the anniversary picnic picture. <laughs> that's right. See, that's what threw me off. That's, that's what it was. Uh, listen, uh, t- tell me, you know, y- you came to Oxbridge uh, from Toronto, right? Uh, Ajax, actually. So Ajax? I in, uh, Ajax, which is also in Durham region. I lived there for about five years before moving to Uxbridge. But prior to Ajax was uh, in Toronto. So what brought and you to Uxbridge? Was it business? Uh, no. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was crazy. Like, we, like at that time, like my, husband, like my husband at that time, uh, we both were living in Ajax, but commuting to Toronto. And then we had the desire to move back to Toronto, but we searched and looked for the longest time, couldn't find anything. And then he said, well, since we have to commute anyway, he wanted like a, more like a hobby farm, so like to commute from a hobby farm. And then we end up in Uxbridge. And so basically it was a, a, a property, um, a, a 10 acres um, hobby farm. That's where we drawn to Uxbridge. We didn't know the town at all. Right. And then you got into business. Uh, you, so you, you had a home business, right? At, at, <clears throat> when we moved here in, um, at the end of 93, we did not, uh, like, I didn't have a business. But my son was born when, after we moved to Uxbridge. And then at that time, I made the decision, commuting, commuting to Toronto daily, it, it's not the type of lifestyle I want or the way that I want to raise my son, our son. So I decided to start a home-based business. So I started it in 1996. Right. A home-based business. So in order to get to know about the community and meet other people, I started the uh, Uxbridge Networking Group in uh, like two years later. Right, and because that was before the Chamber of Commerce really became active. Yeah, like uh, that's why, like why I saw that opportunity to start a networking group was I... It was a home-based business, so I couldn't uh, join the BIA because there's a boundary, and it's not for a home-based business either. Um, and then the Chamber um, of Commerce wasn't active at that time. Um, so that's why I, I see the need of lots of the um, home-based businesses that, that um, to meet with each other. Now, would you say that your group, the networking group, is, I guess, uh, for lack of better words, about group promoting? Yes, that's uh, that's one of the um, main of, um, um, mission of what we do because we just on our own a home based business is a very small voice, uh, but together we can do a lot, and that's the uh, initiative why I took like uh, back then, 1998. But after like this 22 years, it's like we have pretty good split of uh, only 50 percent are home based businesses. And we now have other, uh, like, restaurants and uh, uh, golf courses that are joining us, too. Right? Oh, including, of course, the radio station. That's right. That's right. Well, <laughs> we... Uh... Paper, the Uxbridge Cosmos. Uh, so thank you. Um, and video uh, um, uh, has been our sponsor for 15 years. 
Well, okay. and uh, yeah, because we are a new business as well, uh, being here five years now. Um, you guys also offer up uh, a spot in uh, Semi Annual Magazine. Yes. We started it about nine years ago. And like I said, how our, our, our members working together because we have a graphic designer and we have a writer and we have a project coordinator and I'm in sales. And that's how the four of us just started. And the magazine's been running for nine years and we publish it every um, six months. And also two years ago, we also brought the digital version of the magazine online. So we have both in print and um, on, uh, in digital platform. But it's working together because all our members have different skill sets and we just came together and working together. That's just one of the projects that um, the networking group put together. And you have a social media presence as well. Yes. Uh, and I think like that is very important. So we do have our networking group uh, Facebook page. But um, over, I think, a year or two years ago, it's because of the members um, wanting to communicate within their um, themselves, like freely in the group. So I set up the Facebook group page, uh, as a, uh, I mean, Facebook group, and which is a private group. So they can uh, share their, um, my, my, maybe just share among their um uh, their peers, and that's what we have. So a page and a, a group. Yeah. Now, do you, do you find that that group is uh, pretty active these days because of the pandemic and the lockdown and people trying to pivot their businesses to, to stay open and or to, to at least do some business? Um, the private group is not as active as I wanted to, but I, I did uh, host like more uh, virtual events. Uh, one is called uh, Voice Your Concern um, or offer a solution other than just our monthly like virtual meeting. Um, what I hear from some of the members that did come and joined us um, virtually, um, so the first month, like quite a few of them, they actually saying that they actually going through as if it's a grieving period. They were like kind of a shock, like right, when everything just suddenly locked down. I think it's just a natural uh, progression that which I didn't observe before, but but hearing from uh, members, then I understand uh, why, you know, they, they have to go through that kind of a loss. Well, it happened yeah. so quickly. I mean, you guys had your March meeting and literally like yes. the next day, everything was locked down. Yes, yes. And, and like, and more so it's about the business, right? Because I, myself, I have an office location in downtown Uxbridge for 10 years. So it's not just the home base side, right? I ha I do have... Uh, like a, a teaching children mental math. And then again, I have to close down. Um, and what I worry about was uh, about paying the rent. <laughs> well, as everybody does, right? <laughs> yes. How can you close down for that? But uh, I was, uh, that's why it forces me to really find a way to pivot. And so what I did was um, uh, I find, uh, I was looking for a virtual platform to actually host uh, the networking group meeting. But end up by just looking at that new platform, which is not Zoom, like everyone does the Zoom. Uh, but that particular, like a virtual platform, it's really good for teaching uh, uh, as a classroom, right? And I can do group lesson and also one on one. And even though I don't get many of the students, like you know, return on the virtual platform, like you know, to um, uh, for the classes, but I, I, I worked out like for now almost three months the technique to deliver the program as if they come to my location. So that's why now I so I have this so positive thinking saying now I can deliver the program anywhere around the world. Right. So you may actually be able to expand your business in the end of this. Well, I am expanding. It's just because with that, seeing that opportunity, that's what wake me up. Like, I, I'm excited every morning I get up. Right. Well, that that is good uh, because, you know, we, we uh, need to, to find new ways to, to do things because until we get a vaccine, uh, things aren't changing around. But uh, it's great to have you, Annie, there uh, and the uh, the networking group to, to give you know, local businesses, a, a place to talk to, to compare notes and uh, and help them pivot as well in these difficult times. Yes, uh, by, by people participating, like, so some were not ready to do it, but those that who does, it, it helps with like brainstorming, like what's their alternative is, right? 
instead of just not knowing where, uh, but hoping to give some of them like some guidance, right? Uh, because I think there are uh, solutions, but just it depends on whether you're open to it, right? And try. And actually, because of the lockdown, some of them that may not have even considered uh, being online, like to move their business online, start to think about it and open to that. And then once you try it, and then they see the possibility, right? Right. Well, listen, Annie, we want to thank you for your time and happy 22nd anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, we want to thank you for taking time to talk to us. Uh, have yourself a great day and stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. That is uh, Annie Hardick again, uh, founder of the Uxbridge Networking Group, and uh, talking about dealing with uh, the the pandemic and, and how businesses, you know, talk and uh, you know different ideas. It can be a, a totally different business. And hey, wait a minute, that could apply to my business. And uh, and suddenly some other doors start to uh, to open up. We do have to change the way uh, we think. Obviously uh, during this lockdown. We want to thank Annie for uh, for talking to us. It is a